the Red Sox do have a lot going for them. Yeah. At the top of that list is Tristan Cassis D. Rowe. I was reading in the Boston Globe and it talked about the ability of a young player to adjust, right? If you start the season slow, he's 23 years old and he's kind of made this season a great one and his evolution is right in front of our eyes. What have you seen? Lauren, he's always hit. Coming up through the minors, Team USA, I've seen him always hit. I think he was a little tough time transitioning to a major league clubhouse. When we've had him on the show, real introspective guy. He was out there first day, no shirt, doing yoga, earthing, all those things. I think it took a minute for some of the veteran players in that clubhouse to kind of realize what this guy was about and what he could do to help this team and this franchise. Flat out, though, he has gotten comfortable with the third deck on the roof. He talked about that as well. The amount of people on a nightly basis on top of him in Fenway Park, he's comfortable and he is raking. He's been one of the hottest hitters in the sport. Let's get into it real quick. Broy, take a look at this. First 59 games, a buck 97 with seven home runs. Look at him his last 33 games. He's putting his team on his back offensively. And they've played great baseball. They're an interesting team. Going to get Story back. Maybe uh, Chris Sale. I'm interested to see what Heim Blown does at the deadline tomorrow as well for the Red Sox to see if he gives them a legitimate chance to keep this up. But let's get into Tristan Casas because there's a lot to like from controlling the zone to changing his swing a little bit. Doing some different things to unlock this power cord that's helped him and helped the Red Sox. So let's bring it up real quick. Bring up his board. Bring up that board, the Weighted Runs Created Plus board. Wow. Leader since the start of June 13th. Shohei Otani, Tristan Cassis. Look at Chaz McCormick on the end right there. But when we first, let's get into the tape. When we first laid eyes on him last year, it wasn't the batting average being down. It wasn't the lack of power. You always knew he controlled the zone. Almost to a fault for me. Like he had too good an idea of controlling the zone that he was a little bit passive. Bring up the walk rate. Highest walk percentage since September 4, 2022. Juan Soto, we know him. Aaron Judge. Kyle Schwarber will lay the peeper. Look at Tristan Casas, 15.3. So the guy was looking to walk. And I think the little subtle difference, he's made some changes with his back elbow we'll get into, but he has started to attack some borderline pitches. I'm not paying Tristan Cassis to walk. I want him to hit 30 for me, so run this. So I think maybe the hitting coach goes up and says, hey, Tristan, you feeling good at the dish? I need you coming outside the zone occasionally. 1-1 one, one count and target field. Little cutter top of the zone that he could just flip oppo in Wrigley Field. Light tower power for this guy. Max Scherzer, 95 borderline in. We've seen him take that in Fenway. No, dead center. So bring up the next board, the close pitches. Look at this. Borderline swing percentage on non-strikes. 34 is first 59 games, 35%. Starting to pull the trigger a little bit more. And I think, like, Results breed confidence, right? He's feeling good about himself. What else did he do? He changed his back elbow. He felt a little stuck. Let's get back into the tape. I want to show him side by side. So check this out. Pause. This is early in the season. This is his last start against Max Scherzer here before he got traded. Check out the distance of the hands away from the face, right? He's got his hands pushed out a little bit more from him. Matt Olson really extends him. Really tight right here. Give me the side by side. Flip this up. Here we go. Okay, April 4th. Look at the back elbow. Now this is for kids at home. Alex Bregman, there's a lot of guys who love having their back elbow like this. For whatever reason, I, I always felt stuck. That was the old Little League coach. You get in the box, he's like, get your back elbow up. Why? That feels uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel stuck. I feel like I'm choking the bat, and I feel like my top hand is dominating my swing. He has gotten way more relaxed. The back elbow, even though it's still up, you can tell there's way less tension in this guy's swing. Run this real quick. You can tell his barrel. Run that back real quick. Watch his barrel. See how his barrel's presenting over his head? Quicker motion to the baseball right there. Eliminating motion to get to that elevated heater. That's what you're trying to accomplish. 
99. Top of the zone, middle cut. Ridley Field, see you later. Logan Webb, nasty 93 sinker. Not many guys are going over the 399 right there. At night, marine layer in that ballpark. Bring up the last board, splits by pitch type. First 59 game, you gotta hit the heater in the big leagues, we know that. He was hitting a buck 93, last 33, 408, he's Ted Williams. Fastball slug, he's got an 898. Everything's gone up. But at the end of the day, he's gotten comfortable. He's always raked. He's a big presence in this lineup. Alex Cora loves him. Duran, they got some nice pieces.